Welcome back folks, my name is Anthony Valentine the Camper Nerd, you can find me on campernerd.com uh, Today I'm going to be showing you around this lovely 2005 um, New Venture, it's the Rio model and it's on the Fiat Scudo diesel engine this is just fantastic. This is really as near to a TARDIS as you will find. It's only 5.2 metres, so it literally will take up a supermarket car park in space. Drives like a car. I drove this 200 back miles back from the dealer that it was taking in part exchange, and it drove wonderful. I've just carried out a service, and I've even just had a full habitation service carried out two days ago. Everything in works, everything inside. Uh, this, believe it or not, as I say, I was, did say it was the TARDIS, a shower, hot and cold shower, heater, hot and cold water, full-size wet room, toilet, you've got the lot. Okay, let's walk you around. It's, I think it's MOT till May 24, just a couple of advisories, I think something about a little bit of playing a CV boot or joint, a reversing light, I'm sure that's a bulb, so I'll have a look at that for you, and a little mark on the rear number plate. Feel free to check up the online history. Papa Echo 05 Foxtrot Yankee Sierra, and then you'll get all the MOT history. She's done 105,000 miles, lots of service records and stamps in the book, and as I say, I've just stamped it and I've just carried out full service. I'll be happy to deliver this anywhere in the United Kingdom myself. All I ask at the auction end is for a £500 deposit. I'll even refund that if you're disappointed. That's never happened yet and I don't intend it to start. I'll always show you the good and the bad. Um, yeah, on the completion of the auction, all I ask is for a £100 contribution for my train ticket and fuel. That's it. So if you want to come and view it before the auction end at Camper Nerd HQ L408JG, feel free, ring me up, make an appointment, no problem whatsoever, 0798 526 1078 okay let's walk around uh, a previous owner's even actually put some extra security locks on the doors but yeah she's lovely just a quick sneak peek in the front all matching interior all the upholstery has all been done on the door cards and the front seat to mac you've even got a new venture floor mat coming round the passenger side so we've got the truma heater cover here to heat the hot water on gas diesel cap of course fresh water uh, fridge vents we've got two taps under here we've got one there and just one slightly underneath that the camera won't be able to see one's for the fresh water and one's for the waste water coming around the back it's even got a reverse camera uh, three i was going to say 3d then and then color a color reversing camera here and that will uh, as i say that is in the front on the driver's mirror uh, an extra Fiorma, so that will act actually as a handle if you step stepping inside have a quick sneak peek but of course i'll take over the camera shortly and give you a thorough showing round inside it's even got the barn door so you can have in the summer you can have it like that blinds all through yeah it wants for nothing this and that has got a lock in there, so you could actually use that as a, an extra security device to lock the rear door in. I've got this fold in, fold out step. On the driver's side, we've got the standard industry Fetford cassette toilet and cassette. So we just pull that out there, um, and that's the cassette, and that's for the flush water. And, I did say it was a TARDIS, this has got room, believe it or not, for the two large six propane colour gas bottles. So you've got one included and you can get another one to be there. So you could, you could be away camping for a long time with the two six kilogram propane bottles. 240 mains hookup. There is a hookup cable included inside. Uh, yeah, I just, ha I just give it a wash off after driving it back. A couple of the wheel trims were cracked, so I've put you a new set of wheel trims on. It just sets it off nice. Yeah, it really does look lovely. Quick sneak peek of the uh, driver's side. I'll pull the bonnet. And if the camera can angle up, there's the colour. Reversing camera, all wired in. 
drives smoothly, no problem whatsoever. Yeah, I'll be happy to drive this, as I say. Um, no problem whatsoever to drive this anywhere. It says in, it's actually stamped up in the book as well. Timing belt changed in 2018. But as I say, I've just carried out a full service. So you've got an engine service, your MOT till May next year. Two days ago, I had a full habitation service. Caravan engineer has signed it off and he's happy. Everything is as it should be. Everything's working inside. Okay, yeah, I'll take over the camera now and I'll guide you inside of all the leisure items. So stepping inside, I'll just close the door behind me. So we'll first access the control panel hidden above the passenger side. So we just put it onto the van battery or the leisure battery. Leisure battery has been tested. So a full control panel there, as well as your mains trip out fuse box. Yeah, this is bright. It's lovely inside and on a marked uh, uh, there's just, I think, what did I find? There was just, oh, on the bottom of the fridge, it's hard to see there, but just the plastic has come away a little bit there. I'll see if I can uh, bring that up a little bit better. And what else did I, oh, underneath here, I'll see if I can take a picture of it, but underneath the corner of the overmat, there's just a little stain. Let's see if I can pull the camera back and pull the table back. No. There you go. Just a funny little stain there on top of the lino. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's something like her dye or something that's spilt. Um, but there's the floor's been tested, the walls have been tested, everything is as it should be. So we've got the lights, large cupboard above the cab. Ah, that's a Brucey bonus. So you've got a big paperwork file there. That were, is worth googling. Outdoor Revolution, Cayman Out, Out Handy XL, Low. If it's worth googling those numbers, I think that's 180210. I assume that is going to be a standalone awning. So that's a little Brucey bonus. So there you've got the Truma to uh, heat the hot water on gas. And here you've got the control to heat the heater inside the blowner again on gas. So everything's designed on wild camping. Uh, underneath here you've got the two burner hob, all nice and clean. You've got the grill. Sink with running water. We can, everything's got its place. I think, yes, it's, I knew it had. It's got even an extra little table to give you that little bit more of surface area in the kitchen area. Blinds and fly nets to all the screens. Everything operational. Some rear speakers. Extra reading lights, I think, here. Well, there we go. Yep. Another one there. Yep, four reading lights. Fold up table and that belongs that goes into the wet room and that just clips into there and that clips into there nicely and neatly. So in the shower room, as I say, hot and cold shower, hot and cold water, drop down sink, a vanity mirror, as well as storage, Thetford cassette toilet, flush. It's even got its own branded new venture floor mat in the shower tray. I think, what did I notice in here? Ah, yes. So clearly a previous owner has had something there and two little screws. So um, would it be a, a towel rail holder or a toilet holder? or I don't know, but a previous owner has had something there. So just cosmetic. So I'd suggest putting a new to towel rail in or something there. But yeah, only being fussy. Well, that's the way to be with descriptions. So below the kitchen sink, we've got extra storage. 
we've got the three-way fridge I've just put it on mains now so you've got mains it works off 12 volts when you're driving and when you're wild camping you can put the sparker on and light it up and that will light on gas if you're wild camping and that's been tested and that stopped sparking now I don't know whether just about see the blue flame there in the distance and that's working fine so we just switch the gas off it should start sparking again hey presto and that's a safety device so it'll relight it if the gas blows out for any reason Ooh, that's a nice little feature pull out cupboards another drawer and we've even got the oven underneath I did say it was a TARDIS this, it's managed to fit a lot more things than a lot of camper vans and there we've got the safety override gas switches for the heater, hob, oven and fridge and we've got storage space underneath by both side sofas and then very straightforward these come together and that makes up a large double bed. We've got curtains there that come across from the front. You can use the side curtains or, of course, bring up the vents. OK, I think that's about it on the inside. We'll just switch off the leisure battery and just have a recap on the outside. So, as I say, make no mistake, this is on sale with no reserve. I'll be happy to deliver it anywhere in the United Kingdom myself with a £500 deposit. All I ask is for a £100 contribution for the fuel and the train ticket and a lift to the nearest station. I can't be any further than that. In fact, I'm going to do better than that. I'm going to include three months total warranty on it because I know the engine has been serviced. I know everything inside is working and I know it drives well. I'll just check that reversing light bulb for you. But other than that, you're fine to go and camp until next year for the next MOT, I think it was May, but feel free to check up the history. Papa Echo 05, Foxtrot Yankee Sierra. So this is the 2005 new venture. There's another new venture that's just arrived. That's got to be checked over. That might be going on sale later on. Uh, if you subscribe to this YouTube channel, look underneath the video there will be a link to the ebay advert with many pictures and description about it and i've got a lot more camper vans due in and going on ebay via an auction and a full video appraisal in october so like the video subscribe and you'll be the first to know, be notified of the new videos of the new camper vans arriving thanks for watching folks my name's anthony valentine the camper nerd and you can get me on 0798 526 1078 and I'll be happy to answer any questions. Catch you on that next video.